Here we are at the tea party. Hi. How's it going? Gonna get a little video here. Some stickers over there if you want. All right. It looks like Andy's ready to go over here. This yep. will be good. He's up there. He's gonna give a speech. Andy's gonna start it out here. Is that what's gonna happen? God, this is a good turnout. This is oh good. yeah. Man, this is awesome. It's all right. Really good, I think. Perfect. You know, you know Andy pretty well? Andy's my neighbor. I've known him my whole life. Oh, is he really? Sure. Okay. I've known him for a long time. <laughs> Andy will get it done. There he is. Nothing other than C. Andrew. And my God, look who's over here. It's Kenny Starr with a double R. Basically, it's Starr without his nose in the jar. Party in. Not a boy. And we're yeah. going to... We're going to see what Andy hey, has Andy. to say here. What's going on? Oh, God, it's Mark. Yes. Look at that. I better shake his hand. <laughs> I'm a witness to that. We all came to see... Can everybody hear? Oh, God, can we hear you, Andy? Okay, everybody. The whole world can hear you. Yeah, I hope so. Ow. Greetings, fellow patriots. Hey. Here we are. This is what we're here for. We want to be heard, don't we? Yeah. Exactly. What we want to be heard is we're tired of giving away a hundred money. Yeah. Why do we give away a hundred money and let somebody else figure out how to spend it that doesn't really care about us too much? Hey. All right. Now, we're, we're going to get going in a few minutes. I'm just going to let you know. We've got hot dogs and water in the back left there. Donations accepted. They're free, no obligation. And then over here we've got a sign-up sheet, and uh, we want you to do that. And we got some more American flags for you if you need them, bring one to wave. So take a little bit of patience. We're going to have a few speakers today, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Is everybody kind of ready? Yeah! All right. So is this like Woodstock? Yeah, I guess so. Are you going to play? Are you on? <laughs> we want Kenny Starr. The guy Starr. that's kind of really in charge here just told me we'll get this ball game going pan. now. We'll get it going in a few minutes. In a few minutes, he says. Come on, make it quick. I'm going to have my daughter to lead the Pledge of Allegiance here pretty quick. Um, and there's going to be music in the background. Everyone, please follow through. Look at a flag. Take your head off. Nominate uh, the flag of America. I think we ought to have Kenny Starr up there playing. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we are going to show respect to our country and to all that we stand for by saying the Pledge of Allegiance with Alexia leading it because one of the reasons we're here, of course, is to look out for her and those that come after us. So, if you'll show some respect and we're waiting for a song, we'll go along with it. Go up and sing it. Go ahead. Oh, you got, you're the guy. I wasn't invited, but I... You were too. Are we ready? Keep it down. Turn the volume down. The volume down. Let's start. Thanks for your patience, folks. Here we go, Lexi. Lead us with the Pledge of Allegiance. Come on out of here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And our first speaker of the night, who's going to start it off, is a guy by the name of Tom Hagedorn. He is uh, known for Mr. Minnesota, the answer of no. So if we could please nominate him.
Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure to be back here in southern Minnesota and to have a chance to renew some old acquaintances for sure. Uh, many of you probably remember, some of you older folks, I've, I've been a long time gone congressman. I represented this district, the second congressional district, which included uh, Mankato and Blue Earth County. I see some very good old friends, Mary Myers in the crowd, Millie and El Gunning, who have been here for many years, but always supporting good conservative fiscal policies and social policies for the, uh, for the government. Um, one thing I want to mention that um, Mary brought a book, and I couldn't think of a more appropriate passage when I read it. Bill Simon was Secretary of Treasury under President.